There's a lot of things that people are complaining about in Revolution. So, you know, let me just give you guys the, the biggest issues I've noticed so far. Um, half of them don't really affect me, but I'm still going to talk about it because it is an issue. Um, the first thing is with the Awakenings, okay? So, you guys know how I Awaken a lot. I use the True Awakenings and stuff. Well, I don't agree with somebody using the True Awakening and being able to do the counter system. So, as you guys already noticed on one of my videos, I did that, alright? I did that against somebody that was mashing the shit out of me. I don't think that is fair because... The person, the other person that's not awakened, the, the only chance they have to come at me and beat me is by being aggressive and not giving me breathing room. So, therefore, they need to mash, they need to do combos on me and stuff. So, if I'm just able to fucking sub into a counter, it kind of just makes it redundant. You know what I'm saying? It just means that, hey, fuck it, the awakening is going to win almost 90% of the time, if not 100% of the time. So, I wanted to just put that out as the first issue to talk about because I've noticed a lot of people were talking about it. Now the second thing, um, did you know that if somebody that's not awakened uses the counter against a big awakening, the big awakening doesn't get his guard broken? He just gets stunned for like half a second and then he's able to attack again? I don't agree with that either because again, it's just another disadvantage put out for the other player that's not awakened. And those are the two main problems that I found with the true awakening just the two big ones okay now let's go with drive type nobody fucking likes drive type except for the people that use drive type so what I'm suggesting here is that Savakuni 2 gives the support a little bit of extra health and makes the support just not come back once they're done all right so if you dash at them let's say like five times total they're they're done okay they're, they're not gonna come back you you're, you're screwed all right because so, if you do that it'll give people the dot right of being careful about using defense all right they just won't use it carelessly or to fucking just abuse it and shit because a lot of people i've noticed actually to be specific here um naruto's like the big you naruto and um sasuke i've seen a lot of those two use the drive type so that way they can just be mash as soon as you dash the support and I, i'm gonna tell you right now dude it's so no worth the 15 whatever amount of seconds it is that the supports are gone for it's not worth it because by that time that you fuck up their supports you're already fucked yourself man okay you know like because the dude is not gonna just use defense to oh try chakra or some shit he's gonna fucking try to be mash you through his own support so that way he has an advantage from the get-go. And I think that, you know, Psycho Nintendo should just add a little bit more health. Alright, so let's say they'll last like two more dashes than on the demo. But uh, when they're gone, they're gone for good. Okay, uh, I think that's like the big issue here that they're able to come back and it's like nothing happened. So it feels kind of stupid and redundant. Now, the next thing is the hitboxes. Uh, there's, a, there's been a few instances where, for example... I sub out of a combo and I get hit. Like, I'll, I'll go behind the dude. I'll go behind the dude, okay? And I get hit with the combo regardless, even though I'm behind him. And I, I, I don't agree with that either. Now, another thing is I've thrown tags sometimes. Like, I, I throw the, you know, the, the attack down tags. And they don't stun the dude whatsoever. They, you hit him sometimes and they'll get stunned. Other times, you'll throw him. And then they're able to fucking dash at you like nothing ever happened. It's stupid as shit. I don't understand. But whatever. Uh, the other thing with the hitboxes is that I actually played against Berserkinator. He attempted to grab me about three times, okay? One time he got me. And the other two should have fucking missed. Because I jumped straight over him, bro. Like, I did a double jump over the, over the grab. And he still grabbed me. So it's like I jump, but my hitbot stays on the floor. So it makes it, again, I'm going to say this word again, redundant for me to fucking try to avoid the grab by jumping because that is the only reaction that you have at the moment to jump up because that's like the most safe area to go to if you're going to get grabbed, right? But no, 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 no. In this game, the hitbot stays right where you fucking jumped, okay? So it makes it redundant to just jump in general. Those are the main issues I found on the game, of course. Um, I'm gonna actually try to see if I can find more, and I'll talk about it at a little point. 
but these are the ones that I could find right off the top of my head and if you guys have any other issues that you encountered let me know in the comments because I'm actually trying to see if I can make a video just listing as many problems as possible in, in the hopes that you know CyberConnect 2 is gonna actually fit the game and this is the whole point of the online demo but whatever guys I'll see you guys next time peace out